Now, it looks to me like the top line has leaked out a bit, so there must be an issue with that one. Um, at the return valve at the top, I should think. So I've got a replacement for that. The bottom one here that feeds the um, crankcase bearing seems to be holding fine. There's still oil on the line and it hasn't drained out. So that tells me that that one's okay. The little spring at the top has uh, the non-return valve is working for that one, but not for this one. But anyway, as you can see, I've got like a repair job in both of them. So I've got replacements, I might as well replace them. But I'll keep them as backup because they're almost impossible to find. And they're still functioning. Although this one does have a leak, but that's over a long time that that's leaked out. So I'm happy. I got a little bit of a seep there from the push rod um, oil seal. So if I can get one of them, I'll replace it. It's not big, it's not a big leak. It's not really an issue, but as I'm here, I might as well do it. Everything else looks fine though. And uh, right, happy with that. Now I'm gonna try and put some oil in this line and see if it will, the non-return valve will work or not. And the little trick I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of these little um, banjo nuts on this side. It's actually the one for this. Seal it up with a spring washer, uh, sorry, a crush washer, although I don't think that's actually a crush washer. Just do it by hand until that's tight. And what I'll do with the oil can is put a little bit in there and see it go through the line and all the way to the top. Let's see if this works. It might be a bit messy. We'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, there it goes. As I said, it is a bit messy. But it's working its way up. Right. Don't do this on your best table, by the way. Your um, your good furniture. <laughs> Don't try this at home. But in my case, do. Right. That's the uh, line pull up. Uh, it's come out from. I spouted it in from one end all the way up to the other, with just a little bit of pressure from an oil can. Doesn't mean much. And um, what we're going to see now, I'll leave it for an hour or two and see if it holds the oil and uh, the non-return valve at the top here, see if it works, because that's what it's supposed to do. Um, I should be able to release this now as well, and I'll do the other line. So I've just done it up by hand. So that's one. And I'll get the other. I got these second hand a few years back now when they were actually available. It took me ages to find some, um, but I never fitted them. So give them a good clean. And here goes again. Push the spout in, and there it goes. Comes out the other end. Again, don't use your best furniture or your best tabletop. Um, expect a bit of a mess. Right, let's leave that and see how we get on.
So this is a week later and um, as you can see the old one did in fact drain out. It just I just moved it and it started just to pour out almost instantly. Uh, the other two have been fine. I've given them a wee shake and nothing's, nothing's come out so um, indicates that the valves um, are working fine at the top of the banjos there. So the non-return valves are in perfect good order and I'll replace them back onto the oil pump and I'll also remove the uh, the existing one with the uh, repairs with the epoxy. Okay, I've connected these but very lightly and what I've done is just made sure that they're not really stressed or stretched and they're just they're not touching too many um, parts of the engine so they're slightly away from actually making contact with the engine and same with the top here I don't really want it touching the engine casings itself or it may just cause little I don't know um, scuffs and things so I've now repositioned these into what I think is pretty good with a wee bit of clearance and now I'm just going to carefully tighten them up. I don't see a torque setting so for now anyway I'll just tighten them up gently and just nip them up until I find out what torque they are but they're probably just sort of um, tight but not too tight if you know what I mean just enough to hold it without stressing it. I'm also holding my finger just to have less chance of it moving because I'm really happy with the way I've actually um, connected it. a wee grommet in here that's kind of fallen apart so I'll find something else that will do the job and just keep it from scuffing or uh, making contact with the edges of the casing. <laughs> 